Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Last night was the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view. But before we get into that, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into my Hell in the Cell 2017 review, I'm going to give my full thoughts about that. I want you guys to follow me on Twitter. At the talk show 101, go follow me and put the link in the description of you guys below of my Twitter account. Go follow me and also shout out to Cellrex Gaming who made my thumbnail for this Hell in the Cell review and results. He made the thumbnail for me. Go follow him. Go tweet him. Go show him the love. Go show him the support. He does great work at what he does, making thumbnails, PNGs, whatever. He's good at it. Um, he made my news and rumors review that I showed you guys. Had the yellow thing. He made that for me um, four months ago because um, that would take four months off. So I want to give you a big, huge shout-out, man. Thank you for making that for me. I really do appreciate it. Um, I don't want you to think I didn't, you know, because I, weren't re I wasn't responding to you because I was, I was gone for four months. So I do apologize to you, man. Um, but I just want to appreciate you for doing that for me. It really means a lot to me. Um, so go follow me on Twitter. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys below. Now, let's get into the review of Hell in the Cell. This show was completely terrible. Terrible. The show wasn't that good. There's only two good matches that were on the card this Sunday. That Sunday night, okay? You have the WWE Tag Team Championship match. That match, in my opinion, at the time, it should have been the main event match, okay? Because the Usos and the New Day, man, they had great feuds. They fought three pay-per-views nonstop, back-to-back. -back. Now, I got to disagree on WWE making those titles go back and forth, back and forth, the hot potato stuff. I really disagree with that 100%. On them doing something like that. But I got to tell you, man, what New Day and Usos did, man, it's definitely, my opinion, the match of the year. That's how damn good it was. That's how awesome it was. There was candlesticks involved. You know, you had the Usos taking Xavier Woods, handcuffing him, and putting him around the rope thing, and hitting him with the candlesticks. Both Usos, okay? You had candlesticks involved. You had... Chairs involved. People were enjoying this match, okay? I was just so shocked that this was going to be the first match of the night, okay? And they nailed it. They nailed it. People were chanting, this is awesome. People were enjoying this match, okay? The Usos are a great heel. They're good performers. They're good in the ring. And they work so good as heels. And they work good with the New Day, they're good at it. They work good with the New Day. Okay? Um, the New Day got their titles back on SmackDown. After the last pay-per-view, before Hell in a Cell, the, the, you know, the Usos got it back. You know, and those Usos make those titles mean something. And that's why I was happy when they got those titles back last night. Um, I don't know if one of the Usos got hurt when they did the final splash. When one of the Usos were grabbing his arm last night. But I was impressed by it. I loved it. I enjoyed it, man. Both men did great. Both men did good. And I'm happy for both of them. They deserve a raise. They deserve to get something out of that. Because they stole the show last night. Before I saw the Shane and um, Kevin Owens match. They literally stole the show. And I tweeted out last night. It should have been the main event of the night. Um, they both killed it, man. Um, one of the Usos did one of the Rikishi things. Um, they both did good. It was just amazing to see what these guys could do inside the Hell in a Cell for a tag team match. They really went all out and they showed that they could be the best match of the night. Um, so we all know the Usos lost. Usos retained their WWE tag team titles last night. Let's see where this goes from here on out with them now. You know, they fought three times with the New Day. So what's next for them now? What's the next feud What for another tag team in the company? Who's up to come next? Um, so that match was that was match was good. I really enjoyed it, man. I thought they did really good last night between those two. Um, let's talk about the match that 
literally sucked. That was so off, but it was boring. People didn't like it. I don't know how the casual fans were reacting to this, but you had Jinder Mahal versus Nakamura. How do you have Nakamura lose to Jinder Mahal? How do you make that happen? Okay, how, see the thing is, man, I don't accept what happened last night and I don't accept what went down last night between those two men. Jinder Mahal is so horrible in that ring. He doesn't know how to perform right. So he's strong, he's on steroids, man. That doesn't mean that he's awesome. That doesn't mean he's a great champion. That doesn't mean that, you know, he has what it takes to be the best and put that champion around his waist, okay? Nakamura should have won last night. And, and I know the fans are going to probably, oh, well, you complain all the time. Well, because Nakamura should have won it. They buried Nakamura last night because Vince doesn't give a damn about this guy. Okay? Well, Vince, if you cared about so, money so much, he's marketable for your company. All you do is care about money. He's money right there. You know, he doesn't care about him. Anything that Triple H does, you know... Vince doesn't care. Vince McMahon only went to one NXT live, one NXT event. Since it's been around, he only went to one. That shows you how he really cares about his company. I don't care if you're up in age or nothing. You should still care about the company that you love that your dad did. Nakamura got buried. He needs to go back down to NXT. He was a great as a heel. Oh, I'm going to take... Sticks and stones might break my bones. Who is riding this crap for Nakamura? Okay, Nakamura is a good performer. He's good in the ring. He's a hard worker. He's very talented. He needs to go back to NXT or New Japan Pro Wrestling. Because after the stuff that I saw with Jinder Mahal beating Nakamura, he got buried. And how does the heel, you know, beat anybody clean? Nobody has, nobody should be doing that. Heels cheat to win. Triple H has done it when he was a heel. I think 2003, 2004 when he was heel. He would cheat a lot, okay? But this is unacceptable for, for this company. This guy is so marketable for the company. And after, you know, he shouldn't have been brought to the main roster. And I said a long time ago, if you brought this guy to the main roster, you got to treat him right, book him right, know how to use him, know how to work his mic skills and his promos and stuff. Because what he did about sticks and swords may break my bones, that's what a, I feel like a five-year-old wrote that for Nakamura. And he's better than that. No matter if he went to Raw SmackDown, man. And I don't know how the casual fans accept this crap. Okay? I don't accept what happened last night. I don't accept, you know, but Vince McMahon, the casual fans are going to accept that because they don't care about Nakamura. They don't understand about this business and what it's like. Nakamura should have never came to the main roster because now he's getting ruined. They're not treating him right. They're not using him right. They don't know how to use him to his full potential in this business. And this is the problem that we have. Jinder Mahal is so awful as a champion. He makes that champion look so bad. Nakamura can make that title look better. So he needs to go back down to NXT. He needs to stay there and go there. Um, so that's how I feel about that. Randy Orton versus Rusev. That match wasn't so good. Randy Orton sh did not need to win that. What, what makes sense of having Randy win against Rusev? Rusev got buried too. Rusev should have had beat Randy Orton last night. And it didn't happen. Didn't even take place. So Randy Orton, what makes sense of Randy winning it? Honestly, can you tell me what makes sense of him winning that match? Makes no sense at all for him to win that. Um, um, Natty and Charlotte, that match was bad. That match was bad. That match was boring, man. People were not feeling this match. This whole show, man, people were just not enjoying a lot of the matches. And I don't blame them for it. Because a lot of the matches were not good. Um, but Natty won. You have Bobby Roode versus Dolph Ziggler. That match, I didn't really care about that match. But Bobby Roode won it. You had the triple threat match for the U.S. title. Baron Corbin won it, man. I love Baron Corbin. You know, he's become money in the bank champion, man. They have to do something with this guy. They're not treating him right. They weren't using him right. They weren't booking him right. You know, this is good for Baron Corbin, in my opinion, because they got to do something for this guy. This guy could, you know, have a good successful run in this company doing something. 
And I feel like they're ruining him. They weren't treating him right. They weren't booking him right. They were not using him to his full potential. And when he won last night, I I was happy for him because they got to do something for this guy. This guy could really go somewhere in this company if they know how to book him right, if they know how to use him right to his full potential in that ring. Um, but when we found out that Ty Dillinger won, I mean, Ty Dillinger did not win. Sorry, Ty Dillinger was involved in it and he got the pin for it too. He got the pin for it. So um, he pinned, you know, he pinned, Baron Corbin pinned Ty Dillinger. That's all he was there for. Just to get the pin, that's it. So that was pointless. What makes, does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. Um, I don't, I think I, oh, Hell in the Cell. Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon, man, that match was good last night. You know, Shane dived off the, um, a Hell in the Cell and bounced right off, man. I hope he's okay, man. They had to stretcher him out. Um, Sami Zayn, man, I was so shocked that Sami Zayn came back. I was like, what? Sammy's back in the WWE, but now he's a heel. And I love Sami Zayn. I think he's a good performer. He's great in the ring. His mic skills are good. He is good talent, man. And they got to know how to treat him right as a heel in this company. You know, the guy has a lot of talent and he performs good. He works good with other talents and good people, you know, in the WWE, in the company itself. So, I don't know, guys. I thought the match was good. You know, Kevin Owens went through a table. Um, they did on top of the Hell in the Cell. They fought on top of the Hell in the Cell. That was awesome. Um, Kevin dived off the Hell in the Cell. Overall, man, they both did good. People chanting, this is awesome. This is awesome. But let me know in the comments below. What do you thought about Hell in the Cell this Sunday? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're new to it, please click that subscribe button. I appreciate it very much, guys. Click that thumbs up button. And I'll see you on the next show. Subscribe.